Well, hey, Libra, welcome back to your multiple of reads this month because it is your birthday. How are you guys feeling? I hope you guys are feeling good. All right, so Libra, let me go ahead and I'm not going to say what I see or feel. I'm just going to say victory. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> All right, because we're going to keep it really positive. We're going to go ahead and get your reading, Libra. Yes. Sorry, this is... I don't really do it on camera anymore, but I want you guys to see that I'm shuffling. Ooh. All right, so you saw that fail. I didn't do it. <laughs> So I have the Knight of Cups and I have the Page of Cups. Ooh, so you guys may have more than one person that you're dealing with, or you will, or this could be the this could be you um, in the past going to the person that will be coming back to you. Okay, this could talk about you know spiritual maturity things of that nature. Um, um it could talk about same sex same sex relationship. But I definitely see that there's a burden that's going to get put down. There's going to be um, a fresh new start. And I do see that you are going to be reciprocal of the energy that is going to be coming towards you. So I see mutual love here. That's what I see. Like I said, and I also see multiple options. <laughs> Generally, I never know what's really going on with you guys until I actually have the personal readings and then they never tell me what's going on until after the reading. I'm like, oh my God, this is so true. And then they'll be like, well, you know, actually, you know, there's somebody else. And I'm like, oh Lord. <laughs> so you guys don't be playing no games, okay? Now at the bottom of the deck, I do see um, new relationships. So some of you guys are definitely facing like a new relationship type of thing. So there will be someone possibly that you that um, that you guys know from the past that's going to come in and want to offer you love. There's and then I also see new. Okay, so that's why I said it could be you know definitely different possibilities, things of that nature, different um, offers that is going to happen for you, Libra. All right, let's go ahead and get the rest of your read. So I do see that here with the King of Swords, that you guys were possibly dealing with someone who was ghosting you, someone who wasn't opening up. Um, they're very intelligent. They think a little bit more. They don't use their heart. Um, and even if they do use their heart, they show on the outside that nothing really penetrates them. So like if they feel love, you don't know. And then that call, they may have caused a lot of issues and problems in your relationship. And so here I do see that there is a burden that you guys are putting down and it could possibly be this person who was just unaffectionate, okay? Now here in time, it looks like with the temperance card, in time you guys will have someone that's going to come towards you. And this also doesn't re necessarily represent time, it also represents divine, okay? This is, this is someone that the divine is actually giving to you, the universe is giving, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get one more, two more cards. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo, okay? So again, new and past. And I'm not necessarily calling the person from the past a page. <laughs> I'm just saying in general. I do see more so of a, you know, maturity, a settledness with the Knight of Cups, okay? I see, I see more so a you know, um, a sweetness. Here with the page, it's like they're very naive towards, you know, certain things in life. And it doesn't have to be, you know, everything. It could be very intellectual and very smart when it comes down to business and career, things of that nature. But when it comes down to the love department, it's something that's pretty pretty new. They're naive to, to what people, the, 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 the people that they date, to what they really want. And it can cause a lot of issues. So sometimes somebody may come up to them in a relationship and say, hey, why didn't you do this and this? Or why didn't you think about that? And they're like, oh, I didn't think about it. It's that type of thing, right? It's, you know, maybe it's not being romantic. They don't really know how. But, you know, but I see here that there's a possibility that this person will try. And I also see that this person was resisting it in the past. 
So we're going to go ahead and get your last card and we're going to clarify all of this Libra. So I definitely see here that um, there was some secrets and I feel like that's what you're guarded. Okay. And I feel like part of you being guarded is because even if this person comes back, it's like, no, you know what I mean? Like, it's like this person is here and it's like, stay away. <laughs> Or even if you don't say stay away, you're more so guarded and a little um, hesitant. Like, you know, maybe if it was just an argument, you wouldn't be as guarded, but it may be something a little bit more serious, the reason why you're guarded. But look at what's at the bottom of the deck. I kid you not. This actually came out for your overall reading, Libra. Happy birthday. Yes. So this is new love. This is fresh. I mean, and of course, sometimes that, that definitely comes out when it talks about old love too, but this is just talking about something new, something fresh. But I, I do see that it's a lot of, you know, um, a lot of things that you guys have been dealing with in the past with a particular person who was not affectionate um, that you're putting down. Okay. You're putting that away. So let's go ahead, even if they come back. Okay, and this is, you know, two things can happen at once. I always say that, you know, the person can come back, but that doesn't mean that you're going to you're going to get up with them. It doesn't mean that. It just means that they're coming back and then you may be in the relation or already connecting and digging someone else. So here we have the 9 of 9 of wands talk about you know, this is right before it put it, it being put down. So it's like the 10 of wands the Nine of Wands is explaining why the Ten of Wands is there, that burden, because it was a constant battle mentally. You could not do it any longer. There was something that you just had to let go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get two more cards. Yeah. See here with this at the bottom of the deck it talks about to me I feel like this is moving on okay and I do feel like it's like I said it's two things happening here I feel like you're moving on and this person wants to possibly come back you know this this is this is why you're needing justice because there was some sneakiness here there was someone who was trying to get away with something and causing a lot of heartache and pain emotional stress mental stress okay and you're just like, you know, no. And then you guys could have been dealing with um, another Libra. But Libra, this is definitely letting me know that you were just too tired. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you were exhausted. And some of you guys are dealing with a water sign and an air sign. Another air. So, I mean, I do feel like, you know, this this is your sense of justice. Putting it down. Loving yourself. Starting things anew. That's exactly how I feel. Okay. And this is why I said at the end... Here with the Cancer card, here with uh, the Chariot moving on, okay, from this situation. So, hey, let's get to this Knight of Cups. Let's get to start getting to the juicy, the juiciness. This is what came out. This is what came out. This is what came out. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look at what's at the bottom of the deck, Libra. I promise you, okay. Uh, so, I do see that you're healing from someone from the past, okay? Mm -hmm. Same King of Swords that's there where you feel like you need justice. Same King of Swords. Now, this person, you know, made you feel very unstable. It could have been having you in connection with other people, all right? And they were juggling you and other people, but this is the thing. A lot of you guys are going to be communicating with them if you're not already, okay? And it's night. They love you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they love you. I mean, I, I like the Knight of Pentacles, even though it's very slow. That Knight really do offer stability. I feel like this Knight loves you, but then, you know, they still put you in a position where you are still feeling a little unstable. You know, you're still kind of like, okay, feeling a little rocky, things of that nature. But <clears throat> I see that they're coming back in and you guys will be communicating. All right, let's go ahead and go with the Page of Cups. <clears throat> Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> Here at the bottom of the deck, I have the Page of Cups. So it's like the bottom of the deck is really like clarifying what's on the board already. 
Um, I do see that some of you guys may be dealing with a Leo here with the Sun card. Okay. We have <clears throat> interesting here where it seems like someone has has been feeling enlightened. And this could be you walking away. This could be them wanting to come back. Maybe something made them want to come back because this is still feelings, lingering feelings, things of that nature. And that's the reason why they're calling you. It's kind of fast, out of the blue, very quick. You know what I mean? It's like that. One second. Okay, I'm sorry about that. And this is here with the Queen of Swords. And it just, to me, I just feel like it was this. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. And I feel like this is the Leo that you like you guys cut away. But here with the sun, this is like a sense of, the sense of trying to heal something. Okay. But we'll see. Because this could be just you healing from the Leo that you cut away. <laughs> Truly. This could be you just healing from that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this Seven of Wands. Let's get it. Hey, I just looked at the, the time and it was 11 11. That hasn't happened in a while. All right, let's go ahead and get the Seven of Wands. You guys are very defensive because you were dealing with someone who had secrets. You're not talking, you haven't talked, but you were definitely you're you you were definitely dealing with someone who had some secrets and this person may have like uh, earth in their chart. Um but yeah, and that's the reason why you're defensive because you cut them off for a reason and then 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 started to guard yourself and to protect your heart. Some of you guys are dealing with Virgo or Gemini. Third party. I knew this was going to come out. This is what I was waiting for. And I, I had a feeling because it was something here that made me think that. And it's not always that. But see, this is being guarded because see, this was a connection. Some of you guys found out that they were already in a committed relationship or already in a relationship. You guys were in a relationship and then you find out that they sit up here with the secret person. Okay, and so other parts about this too makes me believe that it was um, that it was the, now you guys are com like someone is doing a silent treatment. And I believe this is you, Libra. This is your way of having justice for yourself, for this third party that this person who could be an earth sign or a Gemini or a Virgo have put you in. Okay. This is your form of justice in that way, not talking to them. Because see, to you, this was a connection. This was this is what you wanted. But then only thing they gave you was heartbreak. And see, now you became the king of sword. Your justice is taking control of you, right? Because see, they were cold to you at first. They were ghosting you. They weren't calling you when you called them back or texting things of that nature the type of stuff when, when this come out and then i start learning what that that is for a lot of the reads i'm like oh man mm -hmm. so that's how i know because see i know this person is cold and things of that nature but i understand based off of um i, I mean literally hundreds of reads i've done and so that let me know what that type of person is like and this is to me this is this person was um they almost like they missed the mark and so here they at the with the hangman it was like oh my goodness what did i do let me go back okay so let me go ahead and get the king of swords just said it right you guys are taking control of your life here with the emperor because there's a lot of di now see you were disappointed but now they have regrets Okay. And now they're watching you. Some of you guys are waiting on them, possibly, yes. But then there's, it's like both of you guys are kind of waiting to see who's going to do something first. Here with the Five of Swords, this person knew that they did something to you. And they're still, you know, they're still trying to do this power struggle. 
this this push and pull thing with you, trying to see if you're going to say something, but then they're being stubborn and egotistical and don't want to say anything, even though they know they put you in a third party situation here. And sometimes third party could be work, it could be family, friends, it could be all types of stuff. But see, this is them trying to have control of, over the situation. Okay. But now with you, you have control over your life and that's your justice. That's your sense of justice. Because some of this even, the Ace of Cups also talks about self-love. Because see, you knew you weren't going to be dealing with this sneaky energy, very manipulative. You knew it. So let's go ahead and get the Temperance card. This is why I say it seemed like almost every time that it, it, any contact card, it seemed like it's cutting away or defensiveness, right? Contact. It's almost like, nope, you know, and very defensive here. Same thing. And I want to show you what's here. Some of you guys were dealing with air, earth, and water. Yeah. This person was in and out of your life, ghosting, things of that nature, dealing with other people. And then there's distance. It could be physical, emotional, or both. Okay. But this person wants to kind of smooth it over, talk to you. And I don't, I don't, I don't know if you're feeling it, Libra. I, I don't know. Because see, you have dreams, other dreams and aspirations. You have, your view is different. Because the night, this night, this night doesn't share your dream. This tonight doesn't share your vis vision. And this is the reason why you guys are, I personally feel, feel moving to your peace and taking leaps of faith and moving on in another direction for majority of you. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this strength card. is with you you walked away from this person who was resisting you in this connection putting other people in this connection causing so much confusion and again here they go this is falling right up under the page of cups this, this is constantly coming out constantly saying that they're trying to come back in but I believe you're going to take a leap of faith on someone new because this is like funny it's lining right up with each other someone new someone more mature in a relationship and I feel like this is going to be your clarity and this is the truth. You're going to gain clarity once you walk away and you take another, you take a leap of faith. Because it's like, once you walk away from all of this confusion, clarity is here. And then I feel like there's going to be new options that you're going to be spying out. <laughs> I feel like that, I do feel like this person is coming back though. That's what this is saying. But truly the thing is, I, I don't feel it for a lot of you. I don't feel that in your heart that that's something that you want to do, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get this moon card because like I said, this is talking about hidden secrets, things of that nat nature, secrets that you found out. The moon. Here's a temperance card, balancing, grounding yourself, balancing out, finally. So someone misses you, and I feel like there's a part of you that missed them. Some of you guys were actually married to your individual, and they're here telling you that they want to see you. Okay, so like I said, this is definitely um, about a, a person from your past coming back, and I feel like some of you guys will listen, you know, even though you're going to be extremely guarded. And some of you have this new, fresh, I mean, start, and you're looking forward to it because you know it's around, you know it's coming, okay? So either way, you guys have something fresh and new on the horizon when it comes down to love, okay? And it was always about timing, okay? That's all it was. 
So Libra, you know, I'm going to come back because you guys have, you know, multiple of reads during your birthday season. So thank you so much. Uh, I am doing personal reads. You guys can look at the description box for that. And please like and subscribe and I will see you guys back here soon. Bye bye.